Singer and rapper Doja Cat was born on October the 21st, 1995, in Los Angeles to a Jewish-American mother and a South African father. Doja Cat has stated that her father was absent from her childhood and she's claimed that she's never met him. The name Doja Cat was derived from two things she liked most at the time. Doja, which is another word for weed, as in marijuana, and cat due to her love of cats. Following her birth, Doja and her mother moved to New York, where they lived for five years before returning to California. At the age of 11 and a half, she lived in an ashram and practiced Hinduism for four years. Growing up, Doja would repeatedly skip school to participate in online chat rooms, an obsession she describes as near religious. In her junior year, age 16, Doja Cat dropped out of school and spent her time downloading beats from YouTube to create her own music. She would then upload these tracks to SoundCloud. One track in particular was a song called So High. This track would go on to help her gain her first record deal. In 2014, age 17, Doja Cat completed a deal to sign with RCA Records with a joint venture deal with Dr. Luke's vanity label, Komosab Records. Just a few months later, Dr. Luke was accused of sexual assault and emotional abuse by the artist Kesha. Although Doja Cat hasn't publicly commented on the allegations, she has liked comments on social media stating that she didn't know and wouldn't have signed to him if she had. Later that year, she released her first EP, Purr, which was described as a spacey, Eastern-influenced R&B sound. She also re-released So High, and the song was also featured on the TV series Empire. To date, the track has currently had over 30 million views. The video, however, was recently called out for sexualizing and appropriating Hindu culture. This is due to including offensive lyrics like, now we both look Asian, referencing both the stereotype and the effects of smoking weed having on your eyes. She would continue to upload to SoundCloud while she received moderate exposure for her musical efforts. In February 2018, Doja Cat released the promotional single Roll With Us, which entered the Spotify Global Viral 50 chart upon its release. The following month, she released two tracks from her album, Go To Town and Candy. Thanks to a TikTok challenge, Candy went viral on the platform the song peaked at number 86 on the Billboard 100 and was her first solo entry onto the charts. At the end of March 2018, Doja Cat's debut studio album, Amara, was released. The album was exclusively produced by Yeti Beats. Doja Cat later would admit to being high throughout the whole production of the album. Amala was unfortunately not as successful as they would have hoped. It failed to chart within the top 200 selling albums of that week and was largely ignored by critics. It was clear at this point that Doja did not take herself too seriously and on August 10th, 2018, she uploaded a self-produced music video called Moo to her YouTube channel. The novelty track was inspired by a top she was wearing at the time and she also filmed, produced and recorded the track in her bedroom. Although the track wasn't meant to be anything serious, it actually ended up going viral and catapulted Doja Cat into the public eye overnight. The song attracted attention from artists such as Chance the Rapper, Katy Perry and even Chris Brown. It was at this point when Doja's first major controversy came to light. In a tweet that dated back to 2015, in which Doja Cat used the word faggot to describe members of the hip-hop musical collective Odd Future. Doja Cat responded to the criticism by saying, I called a couple people faggots when I was in high school in 2015. Does this mean I don't deserve support? I've said faggot like roughly 15,000 times in my life. Does saying faggot mean I hate gay people? I don't think I hate gay people. Gay is okay. This only led to more backlash, with many people calling for her cancellation and requesting fans to boycott her music. She later retracted this statement and said, I apologise for the derogatory terms I've used in the past, and no one should be discriminated against for their race, religion or sexual orientation. I love you, and I hope to make more great music for and with you in the future. Although Doja Cat quickly deleted this apology from her Twitter account the following day. Surprisingly, since this, Doja has expressed herself as being 
bisexual, stating that she enjoys sleeping with both men and women. Following the huge success of Moo, Doja Cat re-released her album Amala to include new singles, one of which was Moo and another was a track entitled Juicy. A performance of Juicy earned Doja over 21 million views on YouTube and in August 2019, the song was remixed by rapper Tiger and debuted at number 83 on the Billboard Hot 100, eventually peaking at number 41 and being certified platinum in the United States. In October the same year, Doja Cat co-produced and released a song called Bottom Bitch. This would later be the lead single from her sophomore album Hot Pink. Later that month, she also released a track called Rules. Hot Pink was released on November the 7th, 2019 to a generally favourable reviews. The album went on to peak at number 9 on the Billboard 200. During this time, Doja's first album, Amara, also peaked on the Billboard 200 at number 138. Doja Cat embarked on the Hot Pink tour. However, this would be postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The following month, the hashtag Doja Cat is cancelled started trending on Twitter when a Doja Cat fan was attacked by Nicki Minaj fans for saying they'd rather see Doja in the middle in between an illustration of Nicki Minaj, Doja Cat and Megan Free Stallion. Doja responded to the Barbs calling them scum. Now this of course upset the Barbs and in retaliation they pretty much tried to cancel her career. Just a few weeks later, a remix to Say So featuring Nicki Minaj was released and the track topped the Billboard Hot 100, becoming the first number one single for both artists. In the same month, Doja Cat featured on a remix of Canadian singer The Weeknd single In Your Eyes and on rapper Little Wayne's track Shimmy. Ariana Grande also stated in an interview that she's ready to release a track that she recorded with Doja Cat earlier on this year. And just as Doja Cat was riding high on the success of her number one, controversy followed her again. After videos of the star talking in chat rooms appeared online, the video seemed to show Doja Cat stripping for white supremacists in racist chat rooms and mocking police brutality. Doja Cat was forced to deny the claims and issue a public apology. And once again, the hashtag Doja Cat is cancelled started trending on Twitter. Now it's clear Doja Cat is a very talented young woman. But now many of the fans that help support and contribute to her rise to fame are now calling for her demise. Many of the best stars are controversial. But in a few short years, Doja Cat has already been linked to being a racist and homophobic. So is this something her career can recover from? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you and please stay tuned.